Whenever I get upset about stories of animals on the brink of extinction, I often think about some of the successful ones which you don't tend to hear too much about. It's common knowledge by now that humans are most likely going to be the cause for countless extinctions around the world, but perhaps that doesn't need to be the case. Every now and then you can find stories like this one, which shows us being capable of correcting our mistakes. Red kites are a gorgeous species within the skies of Britain. This beautiful bird of prey was once on the brink of being lost forever in this country, but through extreme efforts have bounced back from the edge of collapse. Red kites are an icon of the British countryside and on the bucket list of any eccentric bird watcher. This is the story of centuries worth of persecution and the enduring battle between man and nature. This is the story of red kites in Britain. See this tree here? There's a red kite living in it, so I've been told. And the charity that owns this land have been nice enough to let me wait here until I can see it. Red kites were once extremely predominant here in the UK and have a remarkable successful conservation story behind them. Red kites were so predominant in fact that they were even found in cities but unfortunately, because of the attitudes towards hunting them changed and because of the rise in egg collecting, they really suffered in this country. Unfortunately, during the Middle Ages, this species was seen as vermin and they were hunted nearly to extinction. So much so to the point where they actually became extinct in England, Ireland and Scotland and it's believed their numbers got down to as low as only four or five breeding pairs left in Wales. In fact, evidence in their genetics showed that all of the remaining individuals in Wales could be traced to only one singular female, which was absolutely awful for their genetic diversity. Successful breeding and release programs set up in the 80s, predominantly in Scotland, meant that by 1990 their population was already as high as 50,000 individuals. But nowadays this species is doing so well in this country that it even makes up 17% of the entire population in Europe. And since 1995 their population in this country has grown by over 2,000%. Amazing! The red kite is of course one of the UK's birds of prey and has a beautiful reddish brown body and one of the best ways to tell them apart is by their forked tail that looks of course like a kite. Red kites mainly feed on roadkill and can often be found near and around country roads which of course is a bit dangerous for them. Although they do primarily scavenge and eat roadkill they have also been known to eat invertebrates like earthworms. They can also hunt small animals like voles and rabbits and will happily steal food from other animals. In the UK, they're now considered on the conservation concern list as green, but globally, they're listed on the red list as least concern. They can live for around 20 years with record estimates of being around 25 years old, which is pretty impressive. Perhaps the success of red kites here in Britain are proof that as a species we can get it right sometimes when we make mistakes. It's nice to know that when we put our minds to it, we can correct something wrong we've done. Maybe that's enough to give us hope about other animals that need saving from us. Thank you for watching. <laughs>